Bring in CNN's Josh Campbell. Uh, he's a former FBI supervisory special agent, and he's a former special assistant to James Comey. He now works as a legal analyst, uh, analyst for CNN. Uh, Josh, how do you interpret what happened just now? Yeah, I think uh, we've heard some of the political commentators say we need to dial this down. I think quite the opposite. I think the Department of Justice has shown that they are ready to dial this up. Because in a situation like this, and obviously there's a lot that we don't know about the specifics, the underlying potential crime, but anytime you're dealing with an elected official, it falls under the category of what the Department of Justice with the FBI call a SIM, a sensitive investigative matter. And that means if you have someone who's a politician, a member of the media, maybe a member of the clergy, those types of uh, legal action or any type of enforcement is going to be signed off on at the highest levels of the Department of Justice. So that's number one. The second part is because in this case with Robert Mueller, he's not simply going to task out to the Southern District uh, some, some work or some allegation for them to deal with on their own. Again, that's going to be fused right at Maine Justice and again will be signed off at the highest levels before it actually goes um, over to another district to start an investigation. I think that this shows that, you know, in Folks can be warned that if during the course of investigating a crime, if investigators unearth some other type of crime, they don't simply turn the blind eye. Uh, David Urban, want to give you a chance to weigh in? Yeah. So, so is is uh, we've heard, you know, on, in the Gates and Manafort case, Bob Mueller had no problem, no knock, guns pulled raid, which I've talked to folks in law enforcement say they they reserve those kind of raids for bad guys with guns. Who are who are going to put up a no. fight? It, it no. is it is it is very rare for folks to knock not to do no knock raids uh, on that case. And, and in that That's case, not true. all right, Josh, oh, we'll come uh, back uh, to you in a second. Josh, you had your chance. So, and, and 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 in this case as well, you had you had you know Gates and and Manafort on things that were happened in 2013, completely unrelated to, to this election. If, you know, if this were the case that you're talking about here, you could have the same kind of thing. Like if it were that if that I were if it were that tightly tied to this president, Mueller could have easily done it. The president of the United States had dinner with Michael Cohen one week ago. Right. As glorious so, so, yeah, he but said, but Michael but, Cohen is my lawyer. Right. The and highest point, level no. of justice, as Josh just said, has just signed off on an FBI unannounced but, but, raid on the president's personal lawyer's office. Why was office. it filtered through the Southern District? We don't know everything. We don't, we don't, we don't know, know why he but, used But it doesn't to stop anybody here from opining in the thousands. I'm not opining. Things. I'm saying that I well, suspect Jake, that to, to say that this is not a big deal strikes me look, as... I, I, do want, I do want, jo Josh, uh, as a former FBI supervisory uh, special agent, uh, you're saying it's not true that the, the no-knock midnight raids are only done on bad guy drug dealers with guns. They, 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 go ahead. What? That's right. And, and this isn't a disrespect to Mr. Urban. I mean, points for creativity. I understand the situation that he's in. I'm just saying that if you're a law enforcement <laughs> officer and you are focusing on a crime, it doesn't just involve those who are dangerous. It involves those who may be destroying evidence. But the, the fact is, the, the point that was made has nothing to do with what I just jo said a moment jo ago Josh, so as it's far normal, as this being signed off at the, the highest FBI? levels of the Department of Justice. So, Josh, it's normal for the FBI to knock, no knock, guns drawn, on, on civil on, on a matter like Mr. Manafort's, that's now a you're normal something procedure. Different. I didn't say normal. You just said it's not the case. No, no, I'm, I'm saying just asking. That is in it order normal? to preserve evidence, the, the, the FBI will Josh, approach the situation. Josh, just answer my one question. Is manner. it normal or not normal for the FBI to no knock, guns drawn in a Manafort type raid? Yes or no? Don't what I'm saying is that it requires a judge to sign normal. off on, and in this case, Josh. the FBI agents convinced the judge that it was warranted in this case. So the argument really is superfluous. I, what I'm saying is if you look at the case of the an, Southern District, no, this normal. is separate than what Mueller is doing. But I guess we can all agree that, that Mueller and now the Southern District of New York are using rather aggressive tactics. Sure, I mean, absolutely. There's, absolutely. There's, and a judge signed off on it. A judge signed off on it. And, 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 the, and, and the reason, it's not whether the guns are drawn. The fact is there must have been reasonable suspicion that if they didn't go in in this unannounced way, documents would be destroyed. And, and, and a judge, right. not Mueller, a judge must have been convinced that that was a reasonable thing to worry about. Right. So this is a very big deal. The correct has question is not, is this normal? There's been nothing normal <laughs> about this administration, about anything that is an outgrowth of said administration or any investigation, whether we're talking about the Senate, the House, or the special... There's nothing normal about this, so let's not normalize and, any and of this. It's crazy. It, we were just... I mean, Bill, I hate to air you out, but just confidentiality talk on the commercial break we're talking about how this is like something out of a thriller movie this is insane i don't i feel bad for y'all because you do to his point creative points to you but you guys have to contort yourselves into unbelievable ways just to even make any of this make sense but, and it doesn't it gets but, worse but let's let's get to the Sorry, point tantrum. that no it's great i love it, 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 it <laughs> let's, get to, let's get to the point that, that josh was making though that, I, that you would agree with uh, david urban is, is that uh this being a, a special, what's a, the, the, ter the term you use, Josh, a SIM. A sensitive investigative matter. Sensitive a investigative SIM. matter that you, that you would really want to cross all your T's and dot all your I's 
before you raid the offices of the president's Gloria. attorney, let alone, uh, as Gloria Borger reminded us and Bill Crystal just underlined, President Trump just a few days ago had dinner with right. him and made a show of his loyalty and support for him. I mean, that's aggressive. I, I, I don't disagree, but why, why, did, why, did, why did Mueller feel like he had to punt it down to the Southern District? Because it was why? outside the scope of his investigation, well, I guess. His is what investigation Josh is obtuse. <laughs> Josh, go ahead. True. Yeah, let me just point out also, I mean, one thing that we're missing here is that the Department of Justice will referee investigations all the time. When you look at the various districts throughout the country, it is not unusual for one investigation to impact another. And so this isn't something that the DOJ is not used to doing. I think this further makes the case what Bill was saying earlier, that, you know, this is this is a bigger deal, deal maybe than we're thinking, is because if the DOJ looked at this and said that this is not going to impact Bob Mueller's investigation, go forth and prosper, then that shows us that we're off to the races. And it's, a, it's another... Uh, a new line of inquiry, okay. as we or, say, or, that you were going to look Or maybe at. it's less important. Well, no, I mean, look, I think, I think we should not lose sight of a couple of things. Uh, with this case, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Where did the money come from? Uh, Mr. Cohen right. has, has sure. offered different this explanations. Short, this is for the Stormy this Daniels payments. This is for the Stormy payment. Daniels pay, uh, yeah. payments, and we don't know sure. about other things that, that they may have uncovered in right. prior to this investigation. And we also know that the payment itself in the Stormy Daniels matter generated a suspicious activity report. Right. Basically, the Treasury by the Department, bank. by, the, by bank. the bank, sure. the bank kicked it over to the to law enforcement and said, there's something strange here that merits looking at. So there's plenty of there right. there for them to an, investigate. An FE, but let's put, a, let's put a fine point on this. An FEC violation is a far, far cry from a criminal yeah, investigation. Go ahead. But it's also important to know, Evan, you brought up the payment. The, the bank also sent an email to Michael Cohen's Trump Organization email, which also was a different trigger and probably the reason why all of this is happening.